2018 will be a very important year for, for AC with all these product in clinic uh, through directly or through our partners. Hi, I'm Lucy Ellis, Senior Editor at Scrip, and I'm here at Bio Europe in Berlin, and I'm joined by Alexei Pedro, the Chief Operating Officer of OSE Immunotherapeutics. Hello. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, Immunotherapeutics is a biotechnology company focused on immuno-oncology and autoimmune diseases. So perhaps you can start by telling us a bit more about what it is you're developing. Sure. So OSC currently is focusing on developing myeloid checkpoint inhibitors. Mm -hmm. And more broadly, we try to address uh, immune escape after checkpoint T checkpoint inhibitors. So we do that either through the myeloid checkpoint inhibitors that we are developing, namely OSC172, or through neoepitops, uh, our current product Tetopi is in phase three uh, in uh, non-small cell lung cancer. And we plan to launch it also in pancreatic cancer next year in 2018. And how is what you're developing for those indications different from what's in development elsewhere or already on the market? So first of all, clearly um, neoepitopes for therapy are becoming um, very trendy, I would say, in terms of how do you address clearly uh, the immune escape after receiving a T-checkpoint inhibitors. And there are two days in the literature, two ways to deal with that. So either through neoepitopes, neoantigens, or through macrophages and myeloid cells. And that's where we have with OSC172. So the neoepitopes that we have have an increased binding uh, in order to enhance the T-cell response. And that's what uh, was pursued during the older development of TEDOP and we continue to see that right now. And so what's your strategy for late stage development then and the plan for this product going ahead? Well clearly we are looking forward to uh, the results of the clinical trial that we are having right now and the one that we launch uh, next year in pancreatic cancer and based on that we'll be looking for a partner uh, in order to commercialize the product because today the competition that we see with Big Pharma in immune oncology is very strong and our strength is more in the R&D and the early development than on the commercialization of this kind of product. And we prefer to focus our resources on R&D to first initial clinical trials than to commercialize it. And who do you see as your competition then within this space and how will you differentiate? So clearly the competition, you can see at it either through biotechs who have products rather similar in terms of mechanism of action or targets. Uh, so we try to differentiate ourselves by having innovative way uh, to address this uh, target, and that's the case for OSC172, targeting CIRP alpha on the CIRP alpha CD47 pathway, while our competitors are targeting directly CD47. So we believe that we have differentiating points on that, on that side. But also you have to say, to say that in immuno-oncology today, uh, you need also to combine. So your competitors can, can become your partners in, in a way, uh, depending on what you want to achieve. Definitely. And it's all about combinations in, in this space. Yes, really. exactly. Uh, so what are the other milestones coming up outside of that product? Then? Well, uh, we should have uh, next year four products which will be in clinic, either uh, directly uh, developed by uh, OSC, so TEDOP, uh, which will be in phase three and in phase two, um, but OSC 172, which will be in phase one. But we do have also two products in autoimmune disease which are partnered with both Johnson & Johnson and N. Servier, and this product will be respectively in phase two and in phase one next year. So these are, 2018 will be a very important year for, for AC with all these product in clinic uh, through directly or through our partners. And what's your long-term vision for the company then? Where would you like to see it go? So clearly, the, the, we, we do have an integrated platform, R&D platform, and we come from transplantation. Uh, and we use this uh, knowledge in 25 years of knowledge and the cluster that we are within in order to identify the right targets and continue the development up, up to the phase one, two, trying to find first-in-class products in, in immuno-oncology and using autoimmune disease product to finance the company through partnerships. And have you had a good conference then? So yes, far? very good, very good conference. So uh, we were very happy with what we have, who we have met here today. Perfect. Well, lovely to speak to you, Alexi. Thank you very have much. A good day. It was a pleasure.